I've been interested in photonics from a very early age. In fact, my undergraduate degree was physics and my uh, first uh, passion was astronomy, optical astronomy. I spent many of my um, summers as an undergraduate student working in the outback of Australia on an optical instrument telescope that was being commissioned. And I like to say that I saw the light and uh, started my PhD in fibre optics and photonics. I've been at the University of Sydney now for just over 12 years as a professor and director of a national centre called KUDOS, which is an Australian Research Council Centre of Excellence. Uh, we have reported breakthroughs in a number of areas in nonlinear photonics and nanophotonics and quantum photonics. My current research emphasises integrated nanophotonic circuits with two major emphasis uh, at the moment on quantum photonics and quantum light sources based on integrated uh, photonic circuits and an emerging field that deals with the interaction between light photons and phonons, acoustic phonons. It's a very exciting time to launch a new journal in a field that is uh, rapidly advancing, a field that is manifestly multidisciplinary uh, that is um, at the frontier of science but also technology and is having enormous impact on our society. The photonics community has really embraced open access and there have been a number of very successful open access journals over the last decade and I think there are a couple of reasons. One is that photonics is really interdisciplinary so open access lends itself very well to engaging a very broad community. And at the same time, there's a really strong industry base that um, I think benefits enormously from having access to the literature and uh, these uh, open access photonics journals.